Right now, this is Problems, BKMC. You're watching the B-Shine. I'm like uh, an 80s baby in terms of like what I listen to, run DMCs and stuff like that. But um, my sister's 10 years my senior, so I got introduced to like the Curtis Blows and the, you know what I mean? That's the, that era of hip hop, like real early. You know, at this time I was in my adolescence, I was living in Crown Heights, um, right next door to DJ Clark Kent, which was a heavy, you know, crazy experience. I had Salt and Pepper, Heavy D, all type of rappers coming through the block. But um, one that I remember in particular was, uh, Top Billin had like a block party, you know what I'm saying? They used to be on like St. John's around my way. And uh, DJ Scratch and DJ Clark Kent did this thing on the turntables where they were like going around in circles around each other. And it was just like incredible. At that point, I was just like, wow, this is definitely something I want to pursue as far as, you know, a career. Uh, when I first started, I came out um, professionally really with my man, Incredible Red. We had put out a record called 100 Degrees Fahrenheit, which was the Gotta Get You Home With Me Tonight sample but like way back before that song came out. Um, and that was the first record I got spins on the radio, you know what I'm saying? It was like a promo type of thing, but he got it to Red Alert and he would play it faithfully at the top of his show when he was on Kiss every Friday night. And um, that was like the beginning point, but as far as professionally pursuing it, it was since uh, like 9-3, when I got down with a crew called Smoked Out Productions from Uptown, my man Stress, Agony, Black Attack, John K. Pong, Big Tone. And um, from that point, we started doing How Can I Be Down, conventions and stuff like that, and trying to spread the word. And um, later on in life, I, you know, I got hooked up through the Beat Nuts, through Black Attack, got introduced to Al Tariq and um, established a relationship with them, worked on a few of their joints in conjunction with DJ Honda and stuff like that. My family was supportive, you know what I mean? My, my pops is from the old school, so, you know, when I told him back in the days that I was trying to pursue rap, he, he was one of them cats that looked at it like it's a one in a million shot, you know what I mean? And, and I actually had the opportunity to go out to California where he lives and visit him with rap money, you know what I'm saying? I was out there doing something involving music or whatever, and at that point he realized, like, wow, you know what I mean? It, it, you can become successful or, you know, you can make a living off of it. Yeah, I had an opportunity to work with a, a few cats, you know what I mean? I got the spin in front of Puff Daddy back in the days. My man Don Poole was like kind of managing me. And um, he actually brought me up to Puffy's office when they were negotiating the, the whole Foxy Brown deal when Puff was trying to get her, Russell was trying to get her. So, you know what I mean? I spit some bars from him at that time. I didn't have a demo, so you know what I mean? I just kicked some bars. He offered to give me a demo deal. But you know what I mean? I kind of let, let that go. Um, I worked with Q-Tip after doing a, a Lyricist Lounge years ago, and he took a liking to me. But uh, he was kind of hectic, too, doing, you know, joints with Janet Jackson and stuff like that. So I kind of got, like, lost in the sauce. Um, had the opportunity to be around the Beat Nuts, like I told you earlier. Opportunity of meeting Pun, and which, which actually shocked me is when I first met Pun, he was like, problems, he knew who I was already. And that was, to me, was a, like, I couldn't believe it. But, you know what I mean? I've been fortunate to be in some situations to be around certain people. And that was, you know, my first time out of the country was uh, in 97. With uh, with missing links, and we did shows in you know Munich, Germany was the first stop. But we went to Milan, Amsterdam. I had the opportunity. Oh, that's another key point right there. In Amsterdam, I got to perform at the Fat Beats anniversary, with the likes of Big L, Rest in Peace, um, Dilated Peoples. Um, I hope I leave the legacy of of you know dope artistry and and dope lyricism. You know what I mean? And I see that the game is starting to get back to lyrics, which is a great thing because that's that's where it all started from. You know what I mean? From the ciphers, from cats sharpening their skills and ciphers, banging on tables and and lunch. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. So I just hope that people remember me as a uh, you know a wordsmith, a lyrical beast out here. You know what I mean? Problems.